Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about six large business loans to drive your business. The six loans that we're going to talk about today are SBA loans, asset-based loans and AR facilities, lines of credit, business term loans, inventory lines of credit, and equipment financing. So what makes a large business loan a large business loan? It really depends on the size of your business because like depending on your business and where you are in your life cycle of your business and, and how much revenue you're doing, if you're just getting started, a $100,000 loan may be large for you. If you're an established business driving real revenue, a million dollar uh, business loan might be large for you or five or 10 million, right? So it all really depends on the size of your business. The way most banks and non-bank lenders will look at things Typically, once you get to about 250000 to about $5 million and then beyond, most lenders will consider that a large business loan. And again, financing is complicated, but when utilized in the right way, it can be a great tool to grow your business. All right, so first up is a SBA loan. So there's two types of SBA loans. One is a 7A and the other is a 504. So an SBA 7A is a true working capital loan. It's based over a 10-year repayment term. Um, you can go all the way up to $5 million on an SBA 7A loan. The 504 SBA loan, it's meant for real estate. The repayment terms is 25 years. Um, you can go up to $5 million, and you only have to put down 10%. Okay, so number two are asset-based loans, or also known as an asset-based facility, or also known as an account receivable line of credit. So there's a few structures with these, but a true ABL loan um, or an asset-based loan will utilize all of your inventory, even some of your machinery, and absolutely your account receivables um, in your business if you're selling B2B. Um, what's really great is if you incorporate all these things, you can leverage instant cash. So if you've got account receivables that are tied up, if you've got a bunch of inventory on hand that's not selling fast enough, if you've got some serious machinery, equipment, you can leverage all those things and unlock cash that's basically already in your business. So for instance, if you've got 100,000 in account receivables, half a million, a million dollars, or $10 million, you can instantly access typically 80 to 90% of those account receivables. Also, those type of um, transactions are not based on your credit, it's based on the credit worthiness of the customers um, that you're invoicing. So really cool products and really easy way to unlock a lot of money that's tied up in your business. Number three is a business line of credit. So there's two types of business line of credit, some that will require your real estate or account receivables, and they're truly revolving and ongoing. There's also true revolving lines of credit today that are not based on your real estate, not based on your account receivables, and are purely based on the business's cash flow. So if you've got really good cash flow, if you're keeping some money in the bank, um, you can unlock a line of credit that's not tied to real estate or account receivables up to about $250,000 and sometimes a little bit more. Um, if you've got account receivables, you've got real estate, um, you can go all, you know, very high up um, on those lines. Like as, as much account receivables as you have, um, that line will ever grow uh, with um, your account receivables, which is pretty cool. There's also some virtual lines of credit that are out there that are not true revolving. And when I say true revolving, I mean, if you get approved for 250,000, if you use the full 250, and as you pay that back, that money becomes available again. Very similar like a credit card. You have a limit, you charge, you pay back, that money's available again. And then from time to time, your lender will reevaluate your business, whether it's every three months, six months, or yearly, and they can reestablish that line and you can pull from it. Number four is a business term loan. It's purely based on you, um, your business, your time in business, um, your cash flow, and then a few other small things about the business. That's huge, and if your business is growing and you've got great sales, you definitely want to check out some business term loans that are available today. So, an inventory line of credit. Um, it's very simple. It's an inventory line of credit, so you need to have inventory. You know, we see a lot of companies that need to have inventory on hand, but they don't exactly know when they're going to sell that inventory, and they want to keep growing that inventory, so they have it on hand, so if they get big orders, they can move it. If you've got inventory, you've got basically assets. You've got assets on hand that you can leverage. Liquidation might be $300,000. 
but typically, whatever the liquidation value is of that inventory, you can usually access 50 to 75% of it. All right, so number six, last but not least, is equipment financing. If you are a, a business that requires equipment, transportation, construction, um, if you're e-commerce and you might have like a warehouse, so you got things moving around in the warehouse, you have an office and you look, you need to buy new furniture. All of these things can be financed using equipment financing because by utilizing equipment financing, the lender will secure whatever it is that you're financing against that piece of equipment. So it leaves your cash flow or your account receivables um, unlocked or unencumbered. And what does that mean for you? Very important. It means that you can go out and get other forms of financing. And, and instead of buying it outright and laying the money out of your cash flow, you can purchase a piece of equipment um, and you can still choose to depreciate all of that equipment in the first year. So you almost essentially get a tax credit without laying out any money in your cash flow. Um, and you know you can finance equipment um, in the millions of dollar range, depending on your business and depending on what you're looking to purchase. But if you're looking to finance equipment under half a million dollars, the process is very quick, simple, and easy. Um, and it's definitely something that you need to explore. Again, the rates are really good and the repayment terms are awesome all the way out to five years. Don't get wrapped up in the cost of financing. Financing, when utilized as a tool in your business, can really help you grow and scale and get focused on um, what can that financing do for your business? How much can you grow by borrowing money and putting it um, to good use in, in your company? You know, a lot of times we see owners that get really wrapped up in the cost of financing, and there's some like old school myths out there that if you're borrowing money, it's a bad thing. If you are borrowing money and putting it towards growth, it's a beautiful thing, and all great businesses, all great entrepreneurs, all great business owners grow their business by leveraging their business, borrowing money to grow faster um, and to grow more. And the reality is, if you don't have a ton of cash in your business or you don't sell equity in your company, you got to bring money in somewhere. And financing is really a tool to help you grow your business. Thanks for tuning in to Grow by Joe. Wish you nothing but success and keep on growing.